north. Medic 14 is now en route. That's what I call the... But I'm gonna turn left! This is Jason and his partner for the day, Ricky. Jason is one of the paramedics who rescued my girlfriend, Alex. Without him and Amber Price, his partner on that day, three years ago, well, I don't even want to think about the dark place I would have ended up in. This was my first time riding out with him on an ambulance. 707, that looks like our bus. I know it's tough. Feel my hands. Yeah, your hands are cold because you're breathing so hard. Let's go on, let's go have a seat, okay? Okay. Around the other side. Okay. Yeah. Oh. There, we there go. you go. Okay. What I want you to do is just work on kind of calming down. Okay. Take some slow, deep breaths. It's not comfortable. I know. I know. Okay. Some slow breaths. Okay. We're right here. Don't worry about anything else we'll get. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. Take a deep breath in and try and hold it for just a second and then blow it out slow. So slow. Okay. Are you getting to a point where you feel safe enough to walk outside to our stretcher and we can get you under our ambulance? I'm trying. Okay. I'm trying. Maybe this doesn't seem exciting. Well, it's not, but I think that's what I'm getting at. See, it's easy to give it your all when an actual life is in your hands, when your decisions can determine whether a person lives or dies. But when it's a woman having an anxiety attack on a bus and you only got three hours of sleep last night and it's almost lunchtime and as your girlfriend likes to remind you, you get cranky when you're hungry and you just want to get off your feet for one second, that's when it's hard to give a damn. And yet... I know it's really tough. I see a lot of people with this. It feels ugly. Yeah. It feels ugly because when you breathe real fast for a long time, it gets your, the chemistry in your blood off. And so the only, thing, the only way to get your chemistry back is your body's got to take some time to, to get it back, okay? Slow, deep yeah. breath in. There you go. Squeeze my hand if you need to. Squeeze this hand if you need to. There you go. I think you're doing a good job right now. I don't necessarily think you need to go to the ER. You may still feel some, some waves of this anxiety come over you, and that's okay. You're doing great. Your heart rate's slowing down. It was 120, now it's 105. Anxiety is just one of those things that sneaks up on you. Jason guides the patient through some deep breathing exercises, and about 20 minutes later, she's feeling better and decides not to go to the hospital. This is the unheralded, unacknowledged work of EMS. After witnessing this call, I felt nothing but a rush of admiration and gratitude. It's like a roller coaster, isn't it? These were two medics doing their job, and doing it well without complaint or any expectation of approval. They didn't help this patient to collect a good story or to gain glory. In that moment, they were simply there for her. And in my mind, I can transpose this to Alex's accident. I can picture her lying in the middle of the street with both her legs broken, her brain addled, and in more pain than I can possibly imagine. Whatever blur of activity there was around her, however little she was able to comprehend, I'm heartened to know that she could look up and see Jason and Amber there for her. Did you bring lunch? I did. You did? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs>